throw a gender reveal party, start a wildfire. It's Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. This is News with a Bite. I'm Miriam Sobe. A gender reveal party has been identified as the source of the El Dorado fire in San Bernardino County, California. The fire department issued a press release saying a smoke generating pyrotechnic caused the incident that's burned over 7,000 acres. I'm sure the people who sparked the incident, no pun intended, feel bad about it. But just three years ago, a gender reveal party in Arizona started a fire that burned 45,000 acres. It's obviously a dangerous trend, folks. Who even started the whole idea of gender reveal parties? Was it a bakery not getting enough business? A fireworks company that wanted more than the 4th of July? Man, it had to be a celebrity who read a mommy blog and posted extravagant photos on Instagram spreading FOMO. Poisoned Russian activist Alexei Navalny is apparently out of a coma. The BBC reports German doctors say Navalny is responding to verbal stimuli, but it's still too early to tell what the long-term effects will be. Russian President Vladimir Putin is alleged to be behind the poisoning. It's not clear how he's responding to the news. But maybe Putin will put on a fake smile and attempt to welcome Navalny back to Russia. Keep your friends close. Your enemies closer. Eight more people have been convicted in the death of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Khashoggi was murdered in the Saudi consulate in Turkey two years ago, allegedly due to his activism and articles critical of the Saudi government. Once again, a system where people who speak up or are critical pay with their life. Just a suggestion to these dictators. Try not to be so reactive when people say negative I things about you. Mommy. It's not a good look. Nearly 300 Rohingya refugees have safely reached land after being stuck at sea for over six months. The Guardian reports they landed on a beach in Aceh, Indonesia, after a local fisherman spotted them. The refugees have been fleeing persecution in Myanmar. And finally, Epic Games is fighting Apple after their game Fortnite was taken out of the App Store last month. Apparently, Fortnite was updated to have in-app purchases processed by the company's own system instead of Apple which takes a percentage of the sales. Epic Games says they've lost a huge amount of users and they're mad and have filed a lawsuit. Last I checked, everyone has to follow the same rules and if they don't like it, well, maybe they should have thought of that before trying a sneaky approach. I mean, Apple is all up in the data, so of course they're gonna find out when they have stopped making a huge amount of money off your app. Also, being greedy doesn't mean you always get what you want. And that's news with a bite. I'm Miriam So.